Hello and welcome to the Tinker's Workshop and part seven of the Sosilva CNC machine build. Uh, yesterday I got a lot of work done. I finished the uh, assemblies of the doors to the framework the, of the enclosure and got it remounted onto the platform as you can see behind me here. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the top of the enclosure and uh, if you've seen the blog, you've seen uh, earlier pictures of what you see here and I'll show it again here in a minute what the enclosure looks like on the inside and the kind of lighting that I'm getting from the ceiling uh, lights. I'm going to cut an opening in the top and put a window in and hopefully I'll have enough light coming through from the ceiling lights so I don't have to install additional lighting. But I'm going to be moving the camera here shortly and uh, I'll show you what the inside looks like and what I've got planned for the uh, sound deadening foam which finally showed up yesterday also. So let's uh, get to it. So here I'm a little closer to the machine so I can give you a little closer view. What I'm going to do is install this sound deadening foam and let me zoom in here so I can get a good close look at it. There we go. This is a, uh, a special sound deadening foam that I found online and it's one inch thick and looks like little pyramids and what I'll do is uh, take this and glue it into the inside of the enclosure. Let me back it out again here. There we go. We'll take this and glue these into the panels into these recessed areas in the doors and in the sides uh, this will all go into the in inside and it's just a uh, contact uh, spray contact cement and uh, so I'll cut them down. This one needs an, a 12 by 18 and these panels are 12 inches so I'll just take one and cut it in half to fill the fill the void here and I'll do the same thing all the way around and um, so then we're we'll have it much quieter in the machine uh, hopefully and I can just open up everything. Uh, let me go around the back and I can open up the, the uh, back doors here. So everything opens up so that you can uh, get, at the, get at the machine here. Let me zoom in a little more. There we go. So we can get at the machine. Again here these are the back doors and we'll just put foam in here like this and uh, cover the entire cavity here in the doors all the way around. And all the doors open up so that I can have uh, access to the CNC machine if I want to do maintenance. Uh, mainly it's a big thing is just clean up because of the debris that a CNC machine will do. So on to the next step will be uh, finishing the top and uh, making a window so that the lighting will come down through and hopefully I won't have to add additional lights. So anyway let's, uh, let's go to that step here now and, and uh, start working today. As with the rest of the enclosure once again I've got to build another framework and this is nothing more than two by fours that are screwed together, four of them to make the frame. And it's been already been cut and pre-drilled with the pocket holes. And I've got this one clamped in place already. So it's just a matter of screwing it all together and then we'll uh, go ahead and take the plywood and cut it to uh, size and uh, cut the opening for the window. So let's start. Now that the framework's been completed, I have went ahead and took a half inch sheet of plywood and this is a four foot square and I cut an opening in the inside that is just a little bit larger than 18 by 24 inches. This will give me the window that I need for the enclosure. What I'm going to do is take uh, this quarter inch plywood and these are strips that are an inch and a half wide and I'm going to make a framework around this opening with a where they extend a half inch into that opening so it gives me a lip on the inside. So when I put the top on the enclosure I can slide the plexiglass in and this lip will give me something to support the plexiglass window. So these will just be glued in place. I'll glue them and clamp them in place and let those dry and when those are set up then we'll be able to mount it to the framework.
Now that I've got all the clamps removed from the inner frame for the plexiglass window, this is all glued and dried nicely. Uh, it's going to make a nice lip in there for, for the plexiglass window. I've taken the frame that we, I completed earlier and I put it down on this uh, plywood and then traced out the inner line so I could see how much glue I'm going to need in order to glue this down. So this is the next step. We'll take the framework here off. Let me grab it here quick. And we'll set it right down on top. And we wanted, we wanted the good side, I wanted the good side facing the way you see it here simply because this is what you're going to see in the enclosure when it's done. I wanted the good side in, in the interior because the top you're never going to see. So we'll get this lined up nice. Got that, looks good. And a little more here, check here. Oh, that's good. We got to come forward. That looks good. Oh, that's got to come forward a little bit. There. Now, I've got it all glued in, but we're going to clamp it down and let it dry a bit, and then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and put wood screws in this to hold this in place. As you can see here, we've got uh, a lot more clamps on this uh, assembly that I needed to put in to clamp down the blocks for the uh, lights, the internal lights that uh, I may need or may not need. I wanted to put the mounts in just in case. It just makes things simpler. So we're able to pull, the, uh, pull everything apart now. It's been sitting here for some time. And I'll, uh, I'll pull all the clamps off and then we'll take this whole thing and turn it over and start putting screws in it. Now I've got all the clamps off this thing. I'll be able to show you what, what all's in here. This is the mounting blocks for the, in each corner, that would be where electric lights would be put in if I need them. I'm not sure I do or not, uh, but I wanted to have them in there. It'll just save me time later on if, if it's required. These little blocks here are locating blocks that will go up on top and this should drop in place and keep it located. And this is heavy enough that it will, it will stay put once I get it in place. And then of course this lip here is for the plexiglass window. So anyway, I'm going to turn this whole thing upside down again, or, or I should say right side up. It's upside down right now. Right side up. And I'm going to run some screws in to keep this plywood uh, mounted onto the, the uh, wooden frame here. The, uh, the uh, three inch, three inch, uh, it looks like two by fours, but they're cut down three inch wide uh, frame that we had made earlier. I'm going to run some screws in there, just a uh, peace of mind. And I think I might run some in these, in these blocks here too. Uh, these already have screws in them. But anyway, we'll flip this over, run some screws in it, and the assembly should be uh, pretty well done. So that's the, that's the next step. Now that I got the enclosure top assembly completed, the next thing is just to get it up on it. So I'm going to try to do that here now. slide forward. A little more. There it is. Oh, nice fit too. And there we go. So now I'm going to slide it back into position underneath the uh, ceiling light and we'll see what kind of light we've got. Well, this uh, concludes the building of the Sosilva CNC machine enclosure. Uh, and you can see it here behind me all done. And uh, structurally, it's all finished other than painting it or varnishing it. And that I haven't decided yet. And then adding the sound deadening foam and the sliding the glass window up on the top. 
The lighting, uh, I won't know exactly sure whether I'll need more lighting uh, until I get the CNC machine in there in the foam and see how much light there is in it. It's pretty good. It looks pretty good right now. Uh, but we'll, I'll see once it's, once it's up and running. I also want to let you know I'm working on a set of plans to this enclosure. And I'll have them out on the blog just as soon as I possibly can. I've learned some little things I want to change in the, in the plans, in the drawings, and some little tricks to make things easier to, uh, to assemble this enclosure. So if uh, you're out there and you have a CNC machine, you need an enclosure. Uh, I hope you learned something here from what I've put together. And uh, I've had a lot of fun uh, putting together the videos and the enclosure itself. And I hope you've enjoyed it too. So you have a good day. And uh, as usual, keep tinkering.